Hey everyone, welcome back to Wixfix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to create this slideshow that I created in a previous video talking about multi-state boxes. Let's go ahead and get started. Now this tutorial does require a little bit of code, but of course I'm gonna cover it in a lot of detail in this video and it will be available on my website. So feel free to click the link in the description. And for the most part, it's basically just one function that's just gonna be copied over and over and just changing out a little bit of the code itself. And I will be teaching you how to do that. But let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're gonna to want to do is we will need to make sure that dev mode is turned on because we're gonna be using something called a multi-state box. And unfortunately, that is not available when you have dev mode turned off because you do need to have code to make it work. So with dev mode turned on, we can now come over to the add button, go to layout tools, and we're gonna see an option for multi-state box, just like this. So I'm gonna pull this out to our page real quick. And just so you know, with the multi-state box selected, we can actually control the width. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the width to maybe like 80%. And then if I click on the box again, you're gonna see now we are on the container box inside the multi-state box. And now here we can actually control the height. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and give us like maybe 700 pixels of space. And I'm also gonna grab the multi-state box and just send it to the center and top, just like that. So now with the container box inside selected, what I want to do is go ahead and apply a grid. So what I want is a three by one grid. So we want three columns and I want two rows. So we're gonna go ahead and press apply. And then we're gonna go into the settings here. For this bottom row, I don't really want to be that tall. Maybe we're gonna do like 100 pixels, something small. For this top row, let's go ahead and give it like 600 pixels, just like that. Then for this left column, let's go ahead and set this to be 100 pixels. And we'll do the same thing for the left column, or for the right column, just like that. So now basically what we're doing is giving us space for a button over here on the left, a button over here on the right, the image and or content here in the middle. And then down below, we're gonna have some dots letting your users know which slide they are on. But before we actually go ahead and press done, what I want to do is go ahead and give us a 100 pixel gap in between the button and the content. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press done. So the next thing I would like to do is we're gonna go over to add, we're gonna go to button, and we're gonna go ahead and grab this button now right here. You can choose any button that you really want to use. It doesn't matter all that much, but we're gonna go ahead and put it in this left column over here, and we're gonna center it just like that. Now what I want to do is we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste it. We're gonna pull this one all the way over here, and once again, we're gonna center it up. But for this one, we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom, go to adjust, rotate, and we're gonna rotate it 180 degrees. And that's basically going to completely flip where the arrow is pointing, okay? The next thing I would like to do is we're just gonna add an image right here into this content area. And we're gonna go ahead and press stretch. And we're also going to apply like a 24 pixel radius to the corners something very easy like that. For now, let's go ahead and select the container box in the background and remove the background color. And we're also gonna have to do that for the multi-state box itself as well. The last thing that we're gonna be adding here in this multi-state box is just a couple circles. So let's go ahead and add a circle right here. We're gonna make this quite small. Let's do something about this size. Let's go ahead and center it up. Let's copy and paste it. I'm gonna make sure it's in the center. I'm gonna bump it over a couple. And I'm just going to duplicate this a few times. The next thing I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and select all of these. We're gonna place them in a container. 
and we're going to center this container right here. Now, what I want to do is go ahead and grab all of these containers and we're going to change the color of three of them. I am making four slides for this tutorial, but if you plan to have more slides than me, then just duplicate this, each one of these circles for as many slides as you plan to have. But now what we want to do is go back over to the multi-state box. We're going to say manage states and I'm going to go ahead and delete box one. And then what I want to do is go ahead and duplicate box number two, three times. And now with this manage state open, what I want to do is go ahead and rename them. So for this one right here, we're gonna click on the three dots, press edit ID. We're gonna call this one. We're gonna go to this one right here, edit ID, name this one two. For this third one, we're gonna name this one three. And last but not least, we're gonna call this one four, just like that. And now if we go back over to number two, we need to do a few things. The first one is we actually need to change the color of this dots. So now that we're on the second slide, we want the second dot here to be the blue. And we're also gonna go ahead and change the image. Now let's go ahead and go back to the multi-state box, press manage states, and we're gonna to go to three. And we're gonna be following this same step. So we're gonna make the current blue dot, the light gray one. And then we're gonna go over to the third dot and make this one the blue. And then we're gonna change the image. And last but not least, we'll go ahead and do this for number four as well. So we're gonna make this first blue dot a gray. Then we're gonna go to the last dot and we're gonna turn this to blue. And we're gonna change the image. Alrighty. So if I go ahead and press preview and I'm clicking these, these buttons right here or I'm clicking these little dots, you're gonna notice that nothing is happening. And that's because we actually need to code it to work. So let's go back over into the editor and we're gonna go ahead and open up our coding panel right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all of the notes inside of it, just like that. And before we actually start adding code, what I want to do is go over to the multi-state box. Let's go to number one and let's go ahead and name this button. So this one is gonna be slide one, button one. And then we're gonna come over here to the second button over here. It's gonna be slide one, button two. So we're gonna go through all of the multi-state boxes. So if we go over to number two, we're gonna select this button. This one's going to be slide two, button one. And this one is going to be slide two, button two. And we're just going to go through all of these multi-state boxes, naming these buttons. So this one's going to be slide three, button one, slide three, button two. And now let's do this one more time for state number four. So we're gonna grab this one, it's gonna be slide or state four, button one. And this one's gonna be state four, button two. Now the last thing that you can do, and this part is optional, it's not a huge deal, but what we can do is come over here and name each one of these and add code for these as well. So let's say we wanted state one, state two, because this is on this first state box, but it's a link to state two. And we're gonna name this one S1, S3. And last but not least, we're gonna name this one S1, S4. Perfect. 
So now if we go back over to our multi-state box and go to number two, what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna call this one S, S2, S1, because we're on this state number two, but it links to state number one. And since this one is blue already, it's already the current tab, we're gonna go ahead and skip this one. And what we're gonna do is go to this one. We're gonna call this one S2, S3. And lastly, for this one, we're gonna call this one S2, S4. And I'm just gonna go through each one of these items real quick, or each one of these states, and name all of these little navigation bars right here. Now we are completely finished naming all of our elements and we can go ahead and start coding this website or this multi-state box to work. So what we want to do is we want the button S1B1 to go back to number four because we want it to go backwards. Then we want S1B2 button to go to state number two. So let's start with S1B1. We're gonna go ahead and type in dollar sign W and we're gonna call S1 B1 and we're gonna say on click and what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to grab this multi-state box which this one is called multi-state box one so I'm gonna say dollar sign W multi-state box one dot change state. And remember we are dealing with button one, which is right here. And we want to change state to number four, just like that. Perfect. So now what we want to do is grab S one B two and link this one to state number two. But what I'm going to do to make this a lot easier is I'm just going to copy this down paste it and we're going to say state one button two and we want to link to number two just like that and right now i'm just going to go ahead and add a note right here and we're going to call this one state one because we want to link everything from state one so this s1 s2 little button needs to link to number two so once again I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this down right here. And I'm gonna type in the ID for this little dot right here. And we want this one to link to number two. Perfect. For this one's S1, S3. So we're gonna change this B1 to S3. And we want this one to link to number three. And last but not least, for state number one, we want to grab S1, S4. And we want it to link to number four, just like that. So now what I want to do is go ahead and copy state one. We're gonna go down a few lines and we're gonna paste it in. We're gonna call this one state two. And if we go ahead and go to our multi-state box, manage states and go to two. Now we're going to see, we just need to change out a couple of these options right here. So S2 B1. So S2 B1. We need this one to go to number one because it's going to be going backwards. And then S2 B2. We actually need to go to number three, just like that. And now down here, we have S2, S1. So we're gonna do S2, S1. And we need it to type in, and then we need it to go to state number one. For this one, it's S2, S3. So we're gonna do S2, S3. We'll make sure it goes to number three. And then S2, S4 needs to go to number four, just like that. So state number two is complete. And let's go ahead and do this two more times, making sure that they link to the correct areas. Of 
Great, and once you go ahead and fill out all of this code right here, we can go ahead and press preview. And now when I click this button to go right, it goes to number two. If I go left, it goes back. And if I even click on these little navigation things, it also switches perfectly. And the cool thing is, is this can be quite responsive. Now I did not set it up to be as responsive. If you want this to be responsive, you know, you'd want to probably make sure that all of these navigations are in a grid and not just in an open container. And you would also maybe want to go into the grid layout and make sure that this is set to a responsive value. So right now we're on state number four. So if I switch this one to a responsive value right here, and I go ahead and preview and go to number four, and I shrink this down, you're gonna notice that the image in the slide box itself is a lot more responsive. Now, I did not fix this area down here, so that would need to be fixed up because you can see the smaller I get, the weirder they start to look, like they're not aligned correctly. But that is basically how you create your own custom slideshow here in Editor X. If you guys learned something, please consider giving this video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you all again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.